and welcome back to ABC 25 Local Lifestyles, everyone. Well, we have a big event uh, coming up, and Joe Day, our very own Joe Day, he's our digital sales manager here at Eyewitness News. He is with us to tell us about the Tri-State Trade Fair, and this is the first Tri-State Trade Fair. So how did this idea come about? Yeah, so like I said, this is our first. We've mm -hmm. done a, a few different career fairs in the past year, right. and as we continue to talk to more and more people, uh, there's a big need for trades out there, and what we found was a lot of people just weren't educated on how to join the trades. Mm -hmm. And uh, so what we found was if we could host a trade fair, we could put a lot of people in front of a lot of the local labor unions, a lot of the different trade schools, and so people could learn how they could pick up a trade and hopefully set themselves up for a better life. Right. So who would be the main people that this would be great for? You know, in all honesty, it fits just about anybody. anybody? A lot of people that are, that are coming out of college may not want to go or coming out of high school that may not want to do the right. four-year college route. Some people coming out of college, I would rather do some trades and things like those lines mm -hmm. may be a good fit. Uh, people that are just looking for a change yeah. in, in their normal everyday life and say, you know what, I'd really prefer to go out and do some different things yeah. with my hands maybe right. uh, are some good possibilities. So this can be just for anybody, young, older, Absolutely. in between. So you guys came up with this. Have you been putting this together for quite a while? Correct. We've been working with a lot of the different uh, building trades commissions and local unions and uh, the trade schools to be able to get a number of people out. We've got around 20 different different booths that are going to wow. be out there. Everything from law enforcement to a number of different trade unions and trade schools mm -hmm. are going to be out there. So it's a great opportunity to uh, at least learn a little bit yes. or even get yourself set up to where if you want to start an apprenticeship or start working in a trade, you may be able to get that set up here also. So you go and all the booths are set up. Where is this? So this is at the Evansville National Guard Armory. Okay. It's going to be Tuesday, September 17th, uh -huh. 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Okay. So plenty of time to come in and be able to speak with uh, all the different tables that are there. And uh, a number of them are going to be bringing in some of the different things they work with. So you'll actually get to have a little bit of hands-on right. and see what they do and really have some good in-depth conversations. And nothing specific at any specific time from 9 to 4. So any time that you can get there that day, yep, you correct. can find Any time you can get there. Uh, there's there's going to be opportunities to be able to do some talking. I do know we do have some schools that are going to be bringing some really? of their older students. Okay. Uh, those will mostly be in the mornings, and so there may be a little bit more time uh, in the afternoons to have, if you're uh, just coming in as part of the general public, that you may have a little bit more time to have uh, okay. May some not free be quite speak. as crowded Correct. in the second half versus the first half. If some schools um, maybe want to get to be a part of this, is that still an option? Or? Absolutely. They can call us here at the station, okay. and we'd be happy to uh, work with them and schedule a time for them to, cut, to okay. come by. And tell us again the day. Next Tuesday. Tuesday, okay. Tuesday so September the 17th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Yeah, and you can see the information there um, on your screen right now. Again, next Tuesday, September 17th, it's at the Evansville National Guard Armory. Does this cost anything to even is, get in the door, Joe? It is free to get in the awesome. doors. Awesome. We love, 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 love uh, all those free events. And there's just going to be so much information. So kind of give people an idea if they're thinking, oh, this might be something I want to do. Is there anything they should do to kind of prepare for it? I mean, if they're going to be coming to talk to these people. Yeah, it wouldn't be bad to do a little bit of research online, right. kind of get an idea okay. of where you want to go. Uh, if you're currently in the workforce and you have a resume, it's not a bad thing to bring a okay. resume. It just gives some good talking points to talk about what you've done in the past and right. where this could be a good fit for you going forward in the future. Yeah, and if you're just curious, right? I mean, Absolutely. It's, it's, it's free, so what do you have to lose? Exactly. Just, just stop on by and, and talk to all these people because you're going to have 20 booths there, a wide variety. Um, so have your questions. You can have some great conversations. Um, thank you for this idea and putting it together. Very yeah. happy to do it, and thank you yeah. ever so much for having me on the show yeah. today. It's always awesome. fun. All right. Well, good luck with it next week. Thanks for coming in and talking to us today. We're going to be right back uh, after this. Who else is in the studio? Well, we have the Thunderbolts with us, and they are going to be talking about a fun event coming up for the whole family. It's called the Bolts Family Bash, and uh, that's coming up this hockey season. So we'll tell. they're going to tell us all about it when we come back. You're watching ABC 25 Local Lifestyles.